All right, the What Happened the Music podcast. Uh, today's topic being in multiple bands. Oh, this is one that. So this is one that I currently have been doing. Um, I work with multiple groups as well as freelancing one-off gigs. Um, but what particularly brought made me want to bring this up, I saw a post from a guy on multiple Facebook groups, and he's been posting about this for probably years now. And he's looking for a lot of things for his cover band, including a saxophone player, which I contacted him a while ago, decided I didn't really want to do it. But in his description, he says something along the lines of, we are not looking for somebody who is in multiple bands. We want somebody who's dedicated to our group. No, no hired no, guns no here. No hired guns here. It's always, it's always And the... then there was one time where there was a slew of comments underneath, like, yeah, you tell them. That's, that's the way the scene is, and it's a shame. <laughs> Um, being a horn player on the local scene, and I'm, I'm not a prodigy, I'm solid. You hire me, I'll do what you want me to do, I'll show up on time, and I'm consistent. Um, that being said, I... I, I will say with that, that, uh endorsement that you just gave yourself yeah you're basically better than 99 percent unfortunately you'll show, you'll which could be on. podcast topics for another he will, day he will show up on time show up your... on time right there could be a thing um but <laughs> being a horn player i'm not the meat and potatoes necessarily like you can if i get sick at the last minute and i you can't find a replacement for me you can still do the show you're not a bass player you're not I'm a, not the not bass player i'm not the drummer. drummer not the lead singer right yeah i mean um, you, even even a guitarist when when we did the world's heaviest jam band we we went without a guitarist and it, and it and it worked because oh well the bass player can handle things so that being said for my commitment for me to give 100% of to the product not necessarily 100% from me solely to you, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for you to get a complete product from me, I don't need to give as big of a commitment, meaning either you're compensating me somehow for solely doing your group, meaning it's either musically satisfying for me mm -hmm. and or it's paying off very well. So what you're saying is you're just in it for the money. <laughs> You heard it here first. Folks. No, no. What what I'm saying is either either you you know emotionally, spiritually, or financially, it needs to be worth my time. If yeah, you're, I'm giving myself completely. Well, that's when we did the the world's heaviest jam band project. There was right. no money in that. that There's no money, but bad I play, but it was it was fun. It was fun, and, and you got to yell into a microphone. Um, and... Otherwise, you you kind of need to be open to letting your musicians go be musicians to go mm -hmm. that's that's how you're going to boost the scene they're going to go find work they're going to spread it they're going to network and meet people if you're saying you're in my band that's all you're going to do you know you're you're stunting growth yeah no and that's and that's where it gets ridiculous at least from my standpoint and don't get me wrong it's exactly like when you worked retail mm -hmm. and someone was like well you know you got to be available seven days a week and but only you know, when we need but you. only when you need we're only going to give you 30 hours but you need to be completely available and we don't like the fact exactly. that you have another job but we're only going to give you 30 hours and that's that's what you right. know <laughs> and that's what you know a place like target will do where all of a sudden it's uh you know like well you know you we need all your availability and you can't work anywhere else and it's exactly it's the exact same it's situation same, same exact situation where it's not like well you're not paying me enough to you know to not have another job and yet, yet you want me to give at least your BAM 100% priority. Right. I mean, even tonight, um, you're, you're double booked. Yeah. Actually, we should point out that this is actually being filmed on New Year's Eve, even though you're probably watching us in the future. <laughs> um, I hope everything's better by then. Hope, yeah. But... <laughs> well, don't worry. Donald Trump will fix it. But like, I'm, I'm double booked tonight. We're doing a gig together, and then I'm driving over to another band for their gig. Yeah. Um, interestingly enough, they invited another horn player to also play with us, but he's already booked by a band that's paying him more. It's yeah. I mean, it's it's so. it's what it's. I mean, here's the thing. It's especially with horn players. You guys don't come from a rock tradition. No. Um, I did plenty of you know pay to play shows and like oh you know we're we're trying to sell fifty tickets so we can open up for some washed up. <laughs> washed up national act that, that mm. needs somebody to sell tickets or else no one's going to go to their show. Not going to say who. When worlds <laughs> collide. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. Anyway. <laughs> but no, I mean, that's that's a whole other topic. But 
you don't come from that tradition. You come from, hey, uh, musical gigs, can you play? Oh, sure. Oh, what's the what's the pay? All right. Yeah, I mean, that's and, and I've I've done the pay to play scene for a little bit and I'm already tired of oh, it. I don't see drag. how people do it for years and years. It's a drag because it's the reason why people do it is because it's fun. And there's always the payoff of like, oh, maybe my band will hit it big. Um, But I, I just find it's ridiculous that you'll have bands that will be will limit you to one group, but not be a a group that's I mean here's the thing, even if it was a minimal paying cover group, but you guys gig three nights a week. Okay, well then you don't need to find another band. In fact right. you can find another band. If you're a band that plays once a month and Which is exactly the going back to this article, they're like, we gig one to three times a month. You it's probably like probably one, closer to one. Probably then, one. Maybe holiday time there's more. Um, but you need to, at the very minimum, you need to fill the calendar to say, I'm taking hundred percent of your time. You know, uh, fun story. Uh, in high school, this was my, my long hair rock and roll days. Crazy John, right? Uh, I triple booked myself once I was in three different bands. Okay. Um, each one about as bad as the next, you know, uh, pay all pay, you know, pay to play shows, that sort of thing. And it was a Valentine's day show. You know, all, you know, three different metal bands. It was the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. And I said, oh, yeah, I could do that. You know, Valentine's Day, the one band. Mm. And then the next band was like, oh, we have a show in like, uh, I want to say they said on like the 14th. And I was like, oh, okay. And it didn't occur to me that that's the same one. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm good the 14th. And uh, there was another one that was like, oh, yeah, we're playing on the Tuesday. It's a Tuesday night show. Or maybe it was like a Saturday night show or something like that. And I was like, oh, yeah, I could do that. And then I realized I had, I had literally a triple book myself. Um because I'm an idiot. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's difficult to be in, in multiple bands. But unless you're going to be offering somebody um, some sort of compensation, not necessarily, no, not necessarily financial. No, but it's, even... It's, you can't, you can't be, it can't be a one-person band. Right. You know, especially for a horn player. Yeah. So, um, if you've had any comparable experiences with that, um, if especially if you're a band leader trying to manage 10 people at a time. Uh, Actually, I would love to hear from band leaders that that manage to have horn sections and how they even like schedule stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, would I. If you're one of those people, please, please comment. Like, comment, subscribe. I, like, comment, subscribe. Um, tell I us could, how you feel. Tell us how you feel.